just can't believe that March is over and we are going to step into another new month in 2021. Days are moving fast, right? Okay, so I just thought I would show you how I usually plan my month. So today's video is going to be how to plan your month and I'm going to plan my April month and show you how I do it. So let's get to planning. But before that, let's make some coffee. I'm making some cocoa coffee and it's my absolute favorite. You can find the recipe of this cocoa coffee at my Instagram page. It's just some cocoa powder, sugar and some hot milk. That's it. Okay, all set. So let's begin our April month planning. So I bought this planner for 2021 and I use this to plan my work, life, household and almost everything. If you don't have one, you can use a plain notebook and get some inspiration from this. Let me quickly flip through the pages and show you what it has got. So basically the first page is the calendar. So you can plan your entire month in this important notes or the quote of the month. And then you have birthdays, events and any travel plans. And then next comes the monthly goals. So you can fill all your monthly goals. You can you know refer to your yearly goals and try to you know fill what you wanted to accomplish and you have a habit tracker expense sheet and then meal planning and then you know we have a space to plan our weekly goals and our everyday to-do list from Monday to Sunday. And the last page is going to be your monthly review session which is really important so let's begin by reviewing the month of march so the monthly review session has got six questions in my planner and the number one is did i achieve all my goals this month number two is did i make enough time for self-care and number three is am i satisfied with my habit tracker and number four is was i able to save as much money as i planned number five is did i make enough time to read this month and number six is what can i do better next month so it's really important to sit and reflect your previous month because it helps you to find out what went wrong last month and what you need to work on for the new month These are just some of the examples of the review questions, but you can also add your own review questions if you are using a plain notebook to plan your month. Okay, so now I'm done with the reflections for the month of March and now we are going to move on to April. So this is the first page and I usually mark any important dates that I had to remember. Next, we've got two pages to plan the entire month. So here I plan my YouTube videos, my Instagram post, and I always write the quote for that particular month. And uh, this month's quote is going to be move fast. Yes, so last month it was about building systems and I have a proper system in place. And now it's just time to move a little bit fast. So next it comes birthdays, appointments and travels. So at the beginning of every month, I plan my travels and appointments, if any. And now comes the monthly goals. We have reflected our last month, March. Now we are going to set new goals for April. And this was my March goals. And now I'm going to write down all my goals for the month of April, financial, work, personal. Everything gets covered in here. The planner has also got an entire page for 2021 goals, financial and uh, work related, personal, self-care goals. So I'm just reflecting back to that main page and trying to you know, figure out where I am as of now in 2021. 
and yeah now i'm all set with my april month goals and next comes the habit tracker where you could include six new habits that you wanted to incorporate in month of april so these were some of the habits that i was practicing last month and i also track my mood and water intake every day which i'll be reflecting every month end like how the graph looks and next comes the expense tracker so usually i'll track my expenses in a excel sheet so i don't want to waste this page in this planner so i've converted this into a income tracker where i could you know just take a overall look at the income that has been generated every month so once all the important items have been planned next i plan my meals it's basically on the weekly basis but i do write down all the groceries that i wanted to purchase for that particular month because i do grocery shopping every month and it is just that the vegetables i get every week Next I'll be planning my weekly goals. I write my goals for that particular week and also the to-dos from Monday to Sunday. Like this I'll be planning all four weeks. And yes, once the month is over, I again reflect and plan the next month the same way. So this is how I plan my every month along with my weekly goals and this helps me to move closer to my yearly goals. I hope you found some inspiration in planning your month from this video. Give a big thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.